With us once again is our associate producer and one of our favorite correspondents. That's because it's Jillian, our travel correspondent. Welcome, how are you? Thanks, great, how are you? Good, so we talked about the fact on the phone that packing is one of those things that if you could do it right, it makes your life so much easier. You invented an acronym. Yes. P-A-C-K. Pack. It's so easy. <laughs> so tell us a little bit. Walk us through that. All right. So let's start with the P, which okay. is to plan. So before you go on your trip, you want to plan out your outfits. Look at your itinerary. What are you doing every day? And that'll help you avoid just throwing things in your suitcase. Like I might wear this or I might, if you have your schedule day to day, then you're good to go. And also when you're traveling, you can just pull out your outfit because you know what you're wearing. You're not wasting time looking for anything. And it's helpful too, because I like to eat a lot when I go on vacation, so I'll do the, the tighter stuff toward the beginning and then the stuff that's a little more <laughs> flowy at the end, just in case. And if you, uh, if you really love Instagram and taking lots of great pictures, you can start to color coordinate. So if you have you know, great colors that you're looking at, oh, maybe you're doing lunch at the beach one day, so go for a more fun color. And then you're going to the museum the next, so plan your black dress or whatever you're gonna wear so it looks good when you're looking at your pictures after. And if you're traveling with a group of people, like maybe a bunch of girls, who's gonna bring the hair curler? Who's gonna bring the hair straightener? Not everybody needs to bring everything, and that's gonna save you a lot of space. Okay, so Planning ahead Plan. is yes. for the P. And I love that idea if you're working with your girlfriends is that you collectively, collaboratively plan the trip. So why not plan the pack? Exactly, right. Perfect, okay. <laughs> All right, so the A, accessories. You don't need to bring tons and tons of accessories. I see people just throw a bag of bracelets and different jewelry, but if you need that, just pick a few pieces that are going to go with everything, and then you just put it in a shoe. So you're saving space and it's contained a little bit while it's in your shoe. And speaking of shoes, uh, I think a lot of people have a tendency to overpack their shoes. You don't need your red heels or your blue heels and your white ones. If you just stick with a, like a neutral tan heel, it's gonna go with everything. And I have a rule which is flip-flops, sneakers, flats, heels. I shouldn't need anything more than that, that are go that's gonna go with every outfit. So Give me I, that rule again. <laughs> flip-flops, sneakers, heels, flats. And okay. you might not even need all those shoes. If you right. don't need to wear heels, you wear your flats to the nice dinner. Um, so that's, a, that's another way that we can save space in our suitcase. Um, next we have C for create space. So a few different ways to do that. One is they do make bags that are like the ones that you uh, suck the, oh, yeah, the, the air out. Right. So they do have ones that you don't need the vacuum to use, but just be careful because it might add a lot of extra weight into your suitcase. Okay. Also, some people use that like that rolling method of folding. I'm a Would, roller. Are you not a roller? I'm not a roller. It's oh. good. It's good for wrinkles. Okay. But if you do, you know about the Marie Kondo method of folding clothes? It's <laughs> Is it from retail. Yeah. Is it like when you work at the Gap and they're like, no, do the arms first. Okay. It's almost like origami in a way. Okay. Um, it really, and this will change your life at home too. Like everything in your drawers. If you watch YouTube, there's a few people that are like specialized in the specific folding? type of folding. Yes, and it makes it. My husband had like a hundred T-shirts in his drawer, and it was like overflowing. But I just folded them like this, and it's like half of it. Oh. So it's a big space saver. Jillian, thank you so much. That's a great idea yeah, of course. okay so we're creating space so exactly. that's the C for pack yes okay so maybe not roll just fold differently that's right well, I'm gonna give it a try okay okay and uh, last we have a K for knapsack or backpack or tote or whatever you like to use as a carry-on obviously that gives you some extra storage space and don't forget you have under the seat and overhead bin if you are traveling for less than a week I think you can fit everything in those two but if you are checking a bag make sure you put whatever outfit you're gonna wear on day two into that carry-on my suitcase gets lost like almost every time I travel. So it's just important to have something so you can wear it the next day. And if you are going to a wedding and you're gonna be a bridesmaid, put your bridesmaid dress as a carry-on, or if you're performing somewhere, whatever you need Essentials. on this trip, you have to keep it with you just to be prepared. And medication too. Oh, uh, absolutely. Sometimes people forget their medication or they accidentally pack it and then they're without their medication. Well, you can't be without your medication right. um, for some travelers. Um, I love this idea. Sometimes for me, um, I'll put my jewelry in a Ziploc bag mm -hmm. and uh, don't suck out the air, but what I'll do is I will uh, zip it and then open up just a little tiny crease and then press it 
and that almost vacuum seals it. Oh, too. that's a great idea. And then stick it in my shoe, yeah. only because I'll always show up at uh, an event and I'll have one earring and I'll be like, where's the other earring? <laughs> Lost in my suitcase. Oh, yeah, somewhere. that's a great idea. These are great tips, Jillian. I really appreciate Thank that. Thank you so much. Uh, so where's your next journey? My next journey is going to be Los Angeles. I'm visiting a friend and I might hit up Disneyland while I'm there because I've been to Disney World several times and Disneyland Paris, but I've yet to go to the California Disneyland. Oh, you need to make that. Yeah, I think so. so um, I'm heading uh, to Phoenix to interview Frank from uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation. Oh, then I'm going from Phoenix to Miami to the Brandon Tarnikoff Awards uh, for Natby. And then I believe I'm going to France that's for Nick's exciting. Home. So, and I've never been to France. Eat a lot. So. Best food that I've ever had, France. So. Have a passport, get a stamp, right? Yes. Thank you so much as Thank always. You. And for more great travel tips, what's your uh, personal website? My you go personal to? website is www.jillianlawton.com. And then if you just search 10 minute travel tips on YouTube, that's where you can see all my travel specific tips as well. Love it. Thank you so much as Thank always. Thank you. Oh, by, by the way, a 360 suitcase, that's always helpful too. A suitcase that has wheels that goes in 360. Oh, yes. I was just thinking about your dancing. Game. And I can changer. imagine you like oh, spinning, spinning with it. <laughs> Glamorous, yes. <laughs> Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. <laughs>